Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Southern Dirt. My name is Summer. Before we jump in this video, I wanna let you know about Greenstalk Vertical Gardens sale. It's their Mother's Day sale and it's the biggest sale of the year, which right now, if you use my promo code SD10, you will get your own five tier Greenstalk Vertical Garden for only $104. And they're offering free shipping to most states in the US. So now it's time to take advantage of that if you've been wanting a green stock or if you already have a green stock and you want to get another. Um, I promise that if you buy one, you're going to want another. I already have three and I'm hoping I get another one for Mother's Day. So um, also they have now a new watering system, which I'll show you that here in a minute. And um, anyways, I hope you guys... Uh, check out Greenstock Garden. My affiliate link is in the description below. So I'm super excited to show you guys the new Greenstock Gardens automatic watering system. This is going to take the worry away from leaving for a weekend and your plants dying. You don't have to worry about that anymore because now we have a automatic watering system that's going to water your plants for you while you're gone um, during the week. And it's just so nice because it looks like it's really easy to set up. You just have these little brackets that you need to attach to your green stock garden. It has a spout at the top. I put this lid on top of the reservoir. I've got my tubing ready to go to hook up to my timer, which this timer can go into any hose end. And uh, I just set the timer up. You can connect it to your phone and water it on command or set it up to water when you need to. That's gonna be a game changer for our green stock gardens. Today, I'm gonna walk you through and show you some of the damage, but I'm also gonna point out some of the beautiful blessings that have recently come into the garden and some of the blessings that I completely forgot about that were in my freezer that are already canned, that meals that we've already eaten. So if you're ever in a bind, even in life, and you just want to throw the towel in. Try to look at all the beautiful things that you've already been blessed with. Because if you are so focused on the bad in your life or the bad in your garden, you will not be able to see the beauty of what you have already been given and blessed with. I definitely had a breakdown the other day where I wanted to just completely throw in the towel and just stop and completely give up. But the reason I started this channel is to share my journey and I'm going to share that with you today. So um, just know that we are going into the summer and that means time of a different season, which means some of the plants that are growing are at the end of their season and they may look like they're dying and that's normal. Um, so just take a look at my garden, learn from my experience and don't give up because the joy of gardening is just filled with so many great things. So here's our entrance to the garden. Um, if you go back and watch last month's video, I would say that's probably the best the garden has looked and it's prime and it's been like night and day to this video. So um, we've lost all of our flowers on this, but it was definitely just absolutely amazing while we had all of our flowers. Um, if we trim it back, it will definitely push some more flowers. Um, you will see tons of weeds everywhere in my garden because recently I got poison ivy, which literally almost pushed me over to the edge to completely stop gardening. Um, I actually got poison ivy in my own garden. Yes, I know, it's crazy. But um, we have natural uh, wood chips in our garden. And I guess over time, somehow, poison ivy has gotten started growing in the garden um, I found some over here the other day and my kids pointed it out so it's so hard when you get in here and start pulling weeds really not paying attention to a possible weed that may give you a poison ivy but um, I had it all over my wrists and my arms and it just made it really hard to tend to the garden so um, I now only wear long sleeve and protection on my arms and I'll show you something that I've uh, started using as well here in a little bit. But as you can see, we are going into the heat of the summer. And with that summer coming, you will get these little worms and bugs that will start eating your plants. So that is what's going on here. We can still eat these leaves though. So if you have 
anything in your garden, you've got holes in it, just wash it off and eat it. Um, the only thing I would suggest not eating is any like dry edges because that's not going to taste good. So you can just cut that off like this. You can just cut this off. Um, over here, I've got my squash plant here. Actually, no, this is a zucchini. And I don't think I got any zucchinis yet. Um, I have some parsley. I've got a pepper plant. I got this beautiful dinosaur kale plant. This is like a two year old plant from last year. Um, last two Novembers ago planted. Um, I have a, a new plant in here. This is actually a, uh, I think it's called a lemon verbatim. Uh, a friend of mine from Costa Rica. This is something that's a, that's grown wild there and um, she passed that down to me. I'll put the right name up in front if if I'm wrong here. I also have some dill growing. I have some ginger growing here and I planted some turmeric. I'm not sure if it's going to come up uh, yet but usually this is a good time of the year to start planting turmeric and I'm really excited because my husband told me he's going to pick me up a big dump truck full of mulch so we can start mulching these beds and um, which should help with some of the weed issues that we have. A nice three inch layer of mulch um, should help keep your weeds down and keep in moisture. And we're definitely due for some, way past due for some mulch. Over here is my uh, butterfly pea garden. This has been really fun. You can, um, I'll show you some of the pods. We've got a lot of pods here that we can start saving the seeds from, but these little flowers here you can actually use for tea or make really pretty colored Kool-Aid for your kids. Um, so that has been fun. I've been harvesting those and saving them. Over here is our green stock garden. Like I mentioned before, they are on sale. You can actually get this five tier for $104 right now with my coupon code SD10. And I'll put that affiliate link in this description below. But I absolutely love growing in them. Um, I've had this one here for about two years. This is the first one I started with. And we've got sage, dinosaur kale. I even have some uh, green beans in here which have grown really nicely. I have tomatoes, these little mini tomatoes up top that have done really well. I actually started some more of these tomatoes in as uh, plants. As we lose plants and they have done producing, I'm just slowly starting to plant more um, of the tomato plants in here because they did so well. We've got all kinds of herbs and I have a pepper plant here, some kale, but I really, really, oh, I have, I have some carrots in here too. You can grow carrots even in these green socks because they have such deep pockets. You can pretty much grow anything in them. Let me harvest this carrot. Oh, look at that. So we have our little succulent stand over here. And here's our other Vago garden bed. And I have an affiliate link in the description below. Anything I. I use or talk about in my videos. You can find all the links in the description below. Um, over here, our, our lettuce went to seed just a little bit ago. I thought maybe if I chop it back, I can maybe get some more lettuce. But as soon as I chopped it back, it started bolting again. So we are at the end of the season for, for lettuce. And that's when I start growing lettuce inside um, in my click and grow garden. And I'll show you that later but I have planted some kale in here. We still have some carrots growing in here. I'm gonna harvest one for you guys. That's a little one. I had a nice big one back here. Here we go. There we go. Um, I did recently harvest all my carrots in my in-ground garden. These were planted a little later but I feel like my carrots have done much better in my Vago beds than in the ground, just because the soil is so much better. Um, the, they're able to grow a little deeper than in the just regular sand that we have in our garden. We have these beautiful uh, collard greens. These are called Bonnie's Best. I found these probably four years ago. Um, they're just, they come in containers at the store 
and um, they just have grown really nicely. Look how pretty those are. So I have six plants in total in the garden. This tomato plant has started to decline again because we had a, a we had had no rain. This has probably been the driest year I've ever gardened, and the plants have done really well because they're not getting wet. But as soon as that rain came down, we had like three or four days of just torrential rain, like way too much rain. My tomatoes started cracking, and this plant just got really sick. So um, it is still it's starting to shoot some flowers. So we may get a small production, but really this is the time of the year where tomatoes, um, if it's if it's above 85, 90 degrees during the night and day, you're not going to get a really good production of tomatoes unless you're growing like a heat tolerant tomato, like a Everglades tomato. Um, but I have harvested pounds and pounds of tomatoes from these two plants right here. Um, I have had a pesky animal that keeps coming into this garden and eating, just like nibbling little holes in my tomatoes. That's been really frustrating. Um, it's not a worm. It's some kind of like mouse or squirrel or something. Not quite sure what that is, but it's been very, very annoying. Um, over here, we have our other green stock garden where we have some eggplants that are starting to thrive. We also have peppers. Peppers grow really well in the green stock gardens. I purchased some of their steaks last year. It was really nice to kind of hold them up. I've got some cilantro and some dwarf kale. It just looks really pretty in here. We love making kale chips and these make beautiful kale chips. Um, I have this beautiful rosemary that is just kind of cascading over. It looks really nice. And we've got mixtures of peppers on here. Um, this is the first year I put hot peppers in my garden because before my kids would just love to eat everything out of the garden. And one year I had some hot peppers in the garden and my poor youngest daughter um, grabbed one and that was, that was a really bad day. So um, she knows now to ask <laughs> what peppers are good to eat. So I finally got some hot peppers in here. I also have, I think these are, yep, I've got bells. I usually don't grow bell peppers because with the heat in the summer, they always seem to get like, they get burnt. And before they get big enough to eat, I get some kind of bug problem. So I love growing sweet banana peppers. That's kind of my go-to. Look at this eggplant. So peppers and eggplants are going to strive right now in the summer. So if you're wondering what you can put in your garden, I actually have a video um, of what to plant each month. And I also show you what I am planting each month. So um, depending on where you live, it's definitely important to grow um, and, and plant seeds at the right time of the year. Um, so you also want to look into that. Look at that pepper. So I have a um, tailored what to plant and when for zone nine. I also put in some more of those tomato plants that did so well in my my other green stock. So I have those here and here. So this is going to be a really fun one to watch this summer um, because it's just doing so well. We have all kinds of flowers popping out as well. I recently had deer come in to my garden and look this is where I had all my beans. These were just starting to come up here, full of leaves. If I can find a picture, I'll sh show you here in a second. Just ready to just start producing loads of beans, which our family absolutely loves beans. And in one night, a deer just came and devoured this entire area. And as you can see, they got one taste of those bean plants and just last night, they jumped in here and continued to eat the leaves that are starting to grow back. I have some sunflowers. You can see that were about mm, almost as high as these ones over here. 
and deer came and just cut those all down. I had this tomato plant where the deer had almost eaten all the plant here. This one completely gone over here, chopped them down. Um, these flowers started to die that I had planted along with my spaghetti squash uh, plant. And if you guys go back to my last video and look at that spaghetti squash plant, it was so awesome. Had these beautiful spaghetti squashes on it. I built this awesome trellis, did all this work <laughs> and an armadillo or a um, possum came through after I fertilized one night and dug up all these plants and was looking for worms or bugs or whatever. So basically my, my plant started to decline after that. And I did harvest, um, I think it was three or four squash from this plant, but I had to pull it up. Even though we had a whole, <laughs> whole nother a uh, couple months where I could have continued to get that squash. So it was really frustrating. Um, but I started to look around my garden and noticed like little flowers coming up. Like these started to flower. My, my little monarch, save the monarch butterfly garden started to flower over here, which I'll show you here in a minute. And my pepper plants over there started flowering. So with all the frustrations I've had this recent month where I just wanted to throw in the towel between the deer, the squirrels, the birds literally would dive bomb my blueberry plants. I have about 52 blueberry plants that we're going to have the biggest harvest we've ever had. And literally while I'm standing in the garden working, birds are coming in and taking my blueberries. We can't even chase them off. Like we would run over here and chase one off and it would fly up and fly over here and land and start eating our blueberries. We're like, what in the world? Like the birds have been just crazy. And we've maybe gotten a handful here and there of, of blueberries, but I really should be focusing on those small things like the handfuls of blueberries that we did get to eat. Um, some of these things you just can't control. I mean, there was times where we had aphids in the garden that were just like taking over. I mean, they've killed plants. You can see like, this is a plant that has just died because aphids have just took it over no matter how many times I sprayed. But what the cool thing we noticed is we had ladybugs just starting to come in and save the day and how mother nature just works in really neat ways. And um, the kids started to come out here and pick ladybugs off and put them in jars. And I was able to teach them about the life cycle of ladybugs. We could see their eggs and their larvae. Um, so that was just a really neat experience, even though we don't have beans to eat. <laughs> the deer came and demolished our beans. I had to stop. I had to stop myself of my pity party and go back and go, you know what? At least we got to do this. At least I had that experience with my children that I would have never had if I didn't do all that work to plant the beans. So I just wanted to send you guys that encouragement. Gardening is gardening can be a struggle, but it can be so full of so many joys and so many blessings. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and continue my garden and stop talking about all of my, my mushy stuff. But over here we have, um, this is a cantaloupe. My kids love cantaloupe we've we've attempted to grow cantaloupe never been successful but this is area is just going to be dedicated this summer to letting the vines go um, and grow for cantaloupe i've got some really cool zinnias i saved these seeds from a couple years ago it was my favorite color so i just saved those seeds i have um, propagated some more african blue basil these are my um Bonnie Best collard greens. I have my kale. I have um, some Brussels sprouts. We're getting a few, but they're just not getting very big. This is an Everglades tomato, which I did sell seeds on my website, but I am completely out of stock on my seeds right now. So thank you if you've bought seeds from my website recently. Even though the deer have chopped this, um, tomato bush up I still have a lot of tomatoes coming in that I can harvest the birds also have been dive bombing my Everglades tomatoes when they were dive bombing my blueberries they were coming and getting my tomatoes 
and it was just like am i going to, <laughs> it was just like am i going to get any tomatoes this season from my everglades tomato plants but now look god has provided everglades tomatoes now over here these guys just look sick i don't know what happened to these plants um i think over the fall when we had some frosts these were pretty full grown and they got a lot of damage compared to this one was planted a little later so i think that's why these guys are just declining we still have tomatoes which is fine i could trim this back and it could push more out um but i don't know if i'm going to do all that work we have our mammoth sunflowers here here's our other mammoth sunflower if you want to see that in full beauty i think it's in my last video if not you can see it in my um instagram account so i'm going to show you what's doing the best over here in this garden this is my seed packet called save the monarch butterfly seed packet and it's just doing really well um, i got these from true leaf market it's a seed company that also offers um, different think gardening products so this has been really neat look at that to watch grow we also have planted some of these in my daughter's garden as well and uh, we're really interested to see how this does but you can find that information in the description below over here i have my other green stock garden it's our little strawberry tower it was starting to decline i just kind of had to trim some of the leaves off it had some blight here and we treated it with some copper and we're fertilized so we're starting to get some we're starting to get some flowers again, but we've definitely enjoyed growing strawberries out of this green stalk. And if you haven't seen any of my videos of putting this green stalk together and how beautiful the strawberries look in their prime, it is the best garden to grow strawberries in, hands down. I've been growing strawberries for years and I will never grow strawberries outside of a green stalk. They're just so easy to harvest. So you don't have to worry about them sitting in the dirt they just lay over real nicely. It's just absolutely beautiful. Recently, I trimmed back my roses, finally, and literally within a week, pruning it back, we have all these beautiful roses. Um, I have my old kale plant there. It's still going strong. I've got some of our collard greens. We actually planted a, more collard greens than we needed this year. But the good thing is, is we've been feeding these collard greens to our chickens and our cows. Yes, our cows right now, it's been so dry, they are eating anything green. So that's been a nice little supplement for our cows. Um, over here, I have one little cucumber plant. Never been successful with them, but I did harvest my first cucumber. I've, I've been posting anything I harvest and things I'm doing in the kitchen. Um, in my Instagram stories, but look at that little, little cucumber there. So, so far this guy is staying alive. If you have any cucumber growing tips for me, let me know. Um, here we've got a sugar sweet watermelon that we planted. So here I'm going to pull up these cabbages. These were planted really late. I was really honestly just trying to see if they would do well in the summer or not, because this is more of a shade garden, but I'm pulling them up. And this will just be dedicated to um, my watermelon. I planted some zinnias here, a little zinnia mix. I have um, I have a cranberry hibiscus here, which I pulled out of that garden. And over here, I have a bunch of weeds <laughs> and some morning glories. I think that's what they're called, but they are really pretty. Yep, morning glories. They're really pretty when they they vine out. And I just really need to get in here and get some weeds out of here. And I think if I grow these again, I'm going to grow them on something they'll vine up because I didn't realize that they were a vining plant. So they're just kind of like crawling on the ground, which is fine. So over here I have some curly kale. And I purchased these, I think, two falls ago. And they're growing into trees. So I've just staked them up and they're still doing really good. This is probably one of my favorite kale plants. I wish I had the tag to tell you what it was, 
but it's just a regular curly kale. It seems like I can't, I only can find dwarf curly kale in seed packets and in the store. And last year I just was able to find this, what they would call, I guess, a regular kale. Um, I recently trimmed back my African blue basil. It was like flowing out of here. It was crazy. It was so big after one of our rainstorms, it just kind of flopped over. And I thought it would be time to, to harvest those. I also wanted to show you guys what I'm planting right now. I've got some mammoth sunflowers. I have a friend that gave me some passion fruit. It was not a wild passion fruit. It was really good passion fruit. And um, so I went ahead and planted those. I also planted some black eyed peas and some loofah. And of course, May is the golden time to plant some little pumpkins. So uh, these will all be staying inside only because I have had issues with um, mice coming into the garden um, and squirrels and digging up my seeds. So those are gonna stay right here inside until they start sprouting and then I'll take them into the garden. So I also wanna show you guys these squash. Look at how big this is. I mean, I don't even know how big this is. I should weigh it. Y'all, I've never done this before in my video, but I thought I would show you because I've never grown a squash this big. This is an antique scale that I, I love to collect antiques. But this is a almost four pound squash right here. I mean, this could feed our family for like three days. This is crazy. Um, this is growing actually in my wild garden, which I will show you, but I was so excited about that. Um, I did a little video. I'll be posting it in my um, short feed soon of the kids and I harvesting that. So uh, here's my wild garden area. This is where all of my plants that I cannot handle but to propagate or throw away. Um, we've got sweet potatoes in um, containers. Those are really fun to grow in containers because they're just so easy to harvest. So I have some growing in containers. I have um, my okra here in a couple containers and I vowed not to plant okra in my garden because they just, they like attract nematodes. I had such a bad nematode infection and problem um, a few years back. But over here, look at this squash plant. Like this is crazy. I've never been able to grow squash like this. It just towers out this way, cascades this way, and now it's starting to cascade this way. And this is where I harvested that squash that I just showed you. Um, it is called a scallop squash. I had the same squash in my garden that did not do well. But because this is in a raised bed with really good soil, I think that's why it's just done so well. Look at these flowers and here's some of the squash. So if you can successfully grow one squash plant, that will be plenty for your family. And I have some more little ones in here, but I'm not going to get in here and dig because I'd rather have my, um, the bright sleeves and everything on. Okay, over here I also have an Everglades tomato that just like popped up. I, a couple years ago, had Everglades tomatoes growing up here. And ever since then, they just like, they just grow anywhere without my help. I feel like they actually do better uh, without my help. So I think I have showed you everything from my, my backyard garden. Oh, no, we haven't. So this is the time of year I like to grow lettuce inside and you can do that with the click and grow garden. Um, if you go back to uh, my most recent videos, you'll see um, that we had some lettuce, um, some sorrel and some other type of lettuce in here, which grew really well. Um, I am now going to try their grow anything, which you can actually um, put your own seeds in their little pods that are ready to go with fertilizer and everything they need to grow for their life in the click and grow garden. The click and grow is really nice because you can take it anywhere. Um, we took it last summer on our out west trip and I kept it in the camper so I had a little garden with me everywhere I went. Um, it's just very easy to move. Um, you can put it in your kitchen. We have it in our living room um, that just lights up really nice this whole area in the evening and the light runs for 16 hours. So it's kind of like a night light um, for our living room 
um, and it also of course grows your plants bigger faster because of the light um, so because it's cooler in our home our lettuce does way better in here in the summer so we're gonna plant our own lettuce seeds in here that we've saved over the past couple years but they do have tons of little pods that you can buy that already have seeds in it they're ready to go so this is really nice to just plant it and forget it and just put the water in the reservoir and just watch it grow it's really good for kids um, it's a manageable garden for anybody and i definitely recommend purchasing one of these i also wanted to send a big thank you if you've recently purchased any products from my website recently i completely sold out of all of my seeds so that I, that has never happened so thank you so much for um, shopping my website i still have some hats and some mugs on there i believe some stickers so check that out and also if you ever purchase uh, through my affiliate links that helps my channel grow and uh, all the products that i promote i definitely stand behind i love and i use myself so if you have not bought a green stock garden now is the time